Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of the Petroholics. In this episode, we are in Buckmore. This is a karting video. And on the video after this, FYI, is another karting video. We're going to be at Rye House. Uh, but in this session, basically in the morning, we went to collecting cars. You would have seen the video already. Uh, that was an awesome event. It was a car meet. Then we went, had some pub lunch, took a few photos of the cars and stuff. And then we attended this private session at Buckmore. Basically, I have a group of like a few, you know, like-minded people in the group, and I organise like a private karting session every month, every other month, something along those lines. It's we always get a good turnout. Uh, I think on the last one it was about 18 people. On this one, I think there's exactly 12 of us. Uh, everyone, you know, on a mixture of skill level. Some people are completely new, it's their first time. Some of them, they've been like kind uh, once or twice. And then, like myself, um, there's some of us that's been there like multiple times and they're pretty good and all that type of stuff. So, we're in a qualifying session. Qualifying consists of a five minute qualifying slash practice, followed by a 20 minute race for lap number one and i hope you guys are gonna enjoy this piece of content so straight into lap two going to the fastest lap by no means was this the fastest lap ever it ended up being a 51.8 now my fastest lap time that i ever achieved at buckmore was a 50.010 legit like i wanted to hit that 49 seconds somehow couldn't it is what it is these things happen uh, but in this session we're about a second and a half slower uh, the car at the moment is obviously not warmed up yet the tires are still cold but irrespective of that I think the fastest lap time we're ever gonna get today is a bit 51.3 so again about a second and a half slower than what this car can actually achieve uh, and the reason for that rental carts you have no control over the tires uh, the tires in this session they were pretty much near end of life hence why uh, the lap time is pretty poor um, I think this was during the heat wave, so I think it was about 30 degrees, I know you can't tell, but yeah. So qualifying, lap 4 is about to end, in front of us we have Garciano, so I thought I'll show you this little highlight. He's always giving it the chat, this, that, my weight, blah blah blah, but we're going to show you on camera, can't even defend himself, how bad he is. He oversteers, gets a bit of a drift. I got an overspeed on him, overtake him downhill out Buckmore. Do you know how embarrassing that is? It's almost impossible to overtake someone downhill to have like such a momentum from that heaven. But we get it done anyway. So now we're approaching Wes Pearson, Mr. Wesley. He drives a C63. His car is sick, sounds amazing. And to be fair, He's actually also good on the track. Um, Wes was one of the people that was always giving me a hard time. Uh, he's a bit heavier than me for sure. So I've got a bit of an advantage on him. But, you know, he's still he's still able to pull up a fight. So the moment is in front of me. I'm trying to put a head down. Do these corners as cleanly as possible. Don't think he's going to get overtaken here like Graciano did. A bit wide there from Wes. Too much drifting, Gohan is inside. I think we're gonna have him in this corner. Simple maneuver. And I think it's full back. Okay, he's had that inside corner. Don't want to make contact with him. Second time lucky. Tried to put him off by going in the inside. He's handled it pretty well. He knows I'm there, he's not even looking back. That's how you know he's good. But he ends up outbreaking himself. Thank you, Wesley, and goodbye. That was a nice little overtake there. So, we've ended the session, qualifying slash practice. We're qualified on pole. Graciano well, is literally on my left and he's giving me a bunch of this, that, that about why he wasn't so close to me. Uh, feel more than free to sort of pause it. These are the lap times from that qualifying session. Now we're just driving up to our grid spots to get ready for the 20 minute race. 
it's going to be a good one. So, 20 minute race, 24 laps, position number one. You can just about see the red starting grid line on the left. Go green, heads down. All we're thinking about is taking this first corner cleanly as possible, get a good getaway. First couple of corners, just smash it and try to get a lead towards, like, try to get a lead away from the second guy, basically. And we pretty much go and do that, guys. Look, we started P1, we're gonna stay P1 throughout the duration. Um, and we're gonna skip forward to all of the laps when we get to lap somewhere. So, one thing to mention, lap number five, we have an unfortunate event right about now. So, as I said, it was a hot, humid day. There's a lot of flies around. I killed so many in my helmet and unfortunately one of them went onto the lens luckily we can still see the footage but yeah that's going to be on the lens throughout the rest of this footage I apologize for that Guarciano was meant to have like a second view but he had gopro issues his footage was just literally the sky and the trees so we couldn't actually use this footage so we're gonna to have to use this throughout so lap number nine we are coming to our first victim and I believe it is car number 12, which is Walid. I know Walid from uni, he's a good guy. He came to the session in his Fiat 500. Look, he basically drives a go-kart on the road itself. So you'd expect him to be good, but in his defense, it's his first time at Buckmore, and I think it's his first time sort of like karting. So very easy maneuver. He went wide, went his inside and job done. Victim number two, lap number 12. So we're halfway through the race, obviously still P1, probably about six seconds away from P2, maybe seven seconds at this point. And we are coming towards car number, who is it, who is it, who is the victim? And it's car number six. Car number six is my good old friend, Mac Yogan. Mac drives an E92 M3, so he's got a V8 petrol guzzler. But does that mean he's any good on the track? We're catching up to him quickly. He goes defensive. Come on, Mac. See you later, mate. The old switcheroo, the oldest move in the book. See you later and goodbye. That V8 was clearly just to, you know, he's got something missing in his life, right? So he had to make up for it with his V8. Lap number 14, next victim, spun around, looking the wrong way. Now, I highly advise you drive the right way on the track. I don't recommend driving reverse on the track. It's just, I'm not sure it's what you're meant to do. So, uh, don't know what happened there, you probably spun out. Um, don't know who it was. I would love to name and shame them, but fortunately I couldn't see the cart number. So, lap number 14 still, and we're getting closer to our third, fourth, I lost count, but it's our next victim. And it's cart number nine, Mr. Richard Brownlee. I know Richard from work, great fella. I don't think he's been carting too many times in his life and it's definitely his first time at Buckmore. So we should make pretty light work of this. Takes the first corner pretty well, could have gone a lot faster. He's already looking behind. He's panicking. He's looking left, he's looking right. He has no idea where I am. Are we good to be on switcheroo? Yeah, we're just going to get a better line out of the corner and that's pretty much that overtake complete. Lap number 19, victim number I don't know what. Uh, number four, Mr. Harry Brown. I know Harry from uni, awesome guy. But again, first time I bought more, I don't think he's been carting too many times. So this should be an easy overtake. Yeah, we have an awkward overtake. Nothing to brag about. So the next victim is cart number, I believe that's cart number one, which is Villa. Good old friend, long hair. He's actually been carting a few times, so I wish it wasn't as much of an easy move. We need to we need to have a chat with him. Work on his motorsport skills. So guys, we're nearing to the end of the race. It's lap 22. 
I think this is my last set of overtakes, but it's the best one. It's the one you've all been waiting for. I promise you I'm going to absolutely annihilate and embarrass the living daylight out of my friends. But look, we're all on equal footing. We've got the same car, the same crappy tyres, no excuses. Car number 12 is Walid. I think he takes this a little bit too deep. He kind of drifts. I have to take evasive action off the track. Some would say that maybe it's an illegal overtake, but I had nowhere else to go. He literally had no idea I was even behind him. And now we're back onto Mac. Gonna lap him a second time. It's the E92 M3. He's not looking behind. Does he know where I am? Scare him off a little bit. Get him offline. Goes way too deep into the corner. And see you later. And I don't think he's gonna try coming for the overtake. Nope. Lap 24-24, uh, it's, it's an easy victory for us, we would love more of a challenge, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this race as much as I did. Definitely the highlight was just basically coming up to bat markers and lapping them. Um, I know everyone else had an awesome time. So I'm going to leave a bit of a montage here. So you guys can see some of the conversations that we were having after the race, a bit of a vlog style. But yeah, these were the lap times. Feel more than welcome to sort of pause it and look at them. 51.3, that's not a fast lap time for this track. But again, those tyres were absolutely end of life. Are you guys uh, sticking around? Because after karting, we always go to this one local spot. Uh, All right. Pub dinner. Grab I'll probably always stay for dinner. I need to get contact. Yeah. I think I um I killed a few a few flies with the lens. On the lens. Are you getting re-ended? Right, and also, did you get anything? Any what? Any footage? Did you? Yeah. What? Are you sure? I hope so. Might just kept flicking back up. What do you mean flicking back up? The camera just kept moving up. Twist it then. It was with everything I had. I no, put it was not. That. It wouldn't. It wouldn't do that. I was. But it did. What number was your part across? Eleven. Yeah, I barely saw you. I saw the cats. I saw you have to give you a thumbs up. One hey, just everyone's a lot it. better though. I only lapped like six or seven people. I didn't get lapped. <laughs> but and Blair, Blair was twice. Yeah, bro. I got spun up there. Briefly through the results in reverse order. Hey. Place. I can't six. Hey. VJ beat me, yeah. Can't twelve. That man pull up. Half fish there, massive. Shades on. Hey! Top five. Nine. You've been winning. Seven. Have a good. Let's go on. You were just you were just pointing at the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Missing out on the lead by a decent 11 seconds. Uh, eight. Eight? Eight. Oh, eight. Oh, eight. Oh, eight. Oh, eight. Um, and then finally in first place with quite a lead was Come on, mate. Hey. <laughs> Wearing grey shorts is not the idea. <laughs> Pissed himself. Let's play your leg. <laughs> hey, wait, guys, 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 one second. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Come on. Not at us, bro. Take it. Christmas time's come. Oh! <laughs> hey! hey! Anyone? 
Oh, Only three people have had it. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that was the Buckmore session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a pretty awesome race. Can't wait to organise the next one. I think we're going to try some new tracks because we're in Buckmore twice now. So, um, yeah. Our next video is going to be at Rye House. Uh, it's going to be a pretty awesome video, a really competitive video. I think Grass is going to touch the gentleman sausage here, which is very weird. But um, yeah, so that was that. Rye House next. Um, guys, honestly, if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment, a like, a subscribe. Uh, it really helps this channel out. These videos take so long to make, but we enjoy it. Uh, very much hope you guys do. Two, almost forgot my camera here. And look at these Brixton bullies. <laughs> See you next episode, guys. Adios. Oh.